Was Kanye West correct at what he said about George Floyd dying with fentanyl in his system? Was he correct? Let's look at the autopsy report. This right here is a copy of the autopsy report. Now, I'm not gonna go over the entire report because it's quite lengthy. You can also download this on the internet, okay? So you have a lot of people upset because of what Kanye said and what he said was no more than the truth. Now, George Floyd death, they ruled it as a homicide. I personally think they did that to keep the peace. Someone had to be the scapegoat. Someone had to be the sacrificial lamb. And it happened to be the white cop that had his knee on George Floyd's neck. Now we know from history that cops just don't get arrested and charged for taking out black people. There's a host of young black males and even Sandra Bland that was taken out by law enforcement and they were able to walk. In this case, because of the fact that it went globally, they feared a riot. Black folk was going to go crazy if they came out and just said that he died from heart disease and fentanyl in his system. So they had to rule it as a homicide somebody had to pay. That's my opinion. Now let's take a look at the autopsy report. Now you see the case title, Cardiopulmonary Arrest Complicating Law Enforcement Subdual Restraint and Neck Compression. Now if you go down further, it talked about the blunt force injuries uh, to forehead, face, upper lip, you can read this for yourself. And then it had natural diseases, heart disease, multifocal, severe, hypertensive heart disease. Read it for yourself. Clinical history of hypertension. See? If you scroll down further, it talked about it says no life-threatening injuries identified. And then it has right there where they went over his body, checked it out. I'm gonna scroll down real slow so you can see it for yourself. Now, when you get down to the toxicology, it says see attached report for full details. I looked over that. Testing performed on Antemortem blood specimen collected 5-25-2020 at 9 p.m. at HHC on port, uh, post-mortem urine. Fentanyl. Methamphetamine. This is what was in his system when he died. Urine drug screen, presumptive positive for cannabinoids, amphetamines, and fentanyl, and metabolic, balite, whatever that is. And then it talks about the uh, urine drug screen, confirmation, morphine, free. If you scroll down, you see more. The finding of sickled appearing cells in many of the autopsy tissue sections. Okay. Scroll down, there's more. This is the whole report right here. In this report has nothing to do with George Floyd dying because of the fact that he had a knee on his neck. Now, there's another report out there 
the examiner's report, and it may be that it was like the first one they gave before they actually did the autopsy, but they were saying that it was due to homicide. And he, he went into cardiac arrest when, just by the mere fact that the cop had his knee in his neck, right? But this, we, you saw on the, this is the full report right here. You can download it for yourself. I'm not going too fast. It talks about all the stuff they went through, his head, neck, body cavities, respiratory system, cardiovascular system. This is his report right here. So Kanye wasn't wrong in what he said. So I don't know why people are so upset with him. He wasn't wrong. And then they have the breakdown right here. What was in his system? Methamphetamine, fentanyl, norfentanyl. Cannabis, and I'm taking that's weed. Amphet uh, amphetamine, ugh, that word. Fentanyl. Morphine, and it says free. But you see, this is what the dude had in the system. He had a lot of stuff going on with him. You know, now that might have triggered it with the knee on his neck, but the knee on the neck did not kill him. It was what was in his system already, you know? This is more of a breakdown right here. This is, you can get it on the internet. So Kanye West wasn't wrong. And it wasn't, because I hear people made comments that he got it from Candace Owens' documentary, which it wasn't, you know, accurate. But this right here is the, this is the whole autopsy report. Look at this. This was all, this was in his system. And he had, and as it, and it, as it mentioned in the beginning, there was three natural causes of death, natural causes of death, along with the drugs in his system, you know? So now from what I hear, his daughter, his family members want to sue Kanye West for millions, it's the money grab. It's not like they, they already received enough. Think of all the money they, they got uh, from celebrities and people donate monies and the funeral was paid for it. And now they want more money. You know, they really didn't care. I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say, it. I'm gonna let that one go. You know, um, I'm gonna have to tame my tongue. There's certain things I'm just not gonna say because you have people that have sons and daughters and fathers and uh, that's living and they don't care anything about them especially if they are on drugs or if they are in the street if they're homeless if they're considered bums they want nothing to do with that person while that person is alive james cleveland made a song that says give me my flowers while I let yet live so that I may see the beauty that they bring. A lot of times people don't give flowers until after the person dead and when they think they're gonna get some money from it, right? So now that this is on the front and they made murals of this dude, man, they painted stuff, not looking at his criminal background. Now, does that mean because he had a criminal background, does that mean that he deserved to die? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that while he was alive, did his family love him like they claimed to love him? He's worth more to them now dead than he was alive. And unfortunate, that's how it is in many cases. In many cases, your family really don't care about you unless they can capitalize off of you. Look at all of the GoFundMe pages that ended up on the internet immediately after the person got killed Go fund me, right? Or they put in little canisters in corner stores to collect money, right? So again, it's like if George Floyd was still alive right now, would he be at cookouts with his family? Would they be proud of him? Would they love him? Will they help him to get the help that he needs? 
or does he have to die in order to get that kind of attention? See, so it's sad that people give fake love after you're gone. When you're alive, you don't get that kind of love. They pay no attention. They want nothing. You ask them for like $2. You got a couple of dollars, man, go get a job. You know, they don't want, they don't even want to help you out. I need, how many bums walked up to you on the street asking you for money? Yo, man, can I get something to eat? Could you buy me something to eat? There's videos on the internet, man, where dudes are actually trying to hand out money and they want to see who would help them um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a situation. So they walk up to the person and say, yo, could you buy me this, this bottle of water? And the person would tell him, no, no. But then there's a woman that would say, yeah, I'll get that for you. And then he said, I really don't want it. I want to give you $500 because you helped me out. So think of the number of your family members that come to you for help and you refuse to help them. Don't want to give them no money. Don't want to feed them. Don't, don't want to give them a place to stay. But the minute that they die or get killed, the next you know, it's on the front line of the newspaper and they think they can get paid for it or they love this person to death. And then if anybody speak out against it and give their opinion, like Kanye West, that's a, almost a billionaire, if not a billionaire, now it's like, oh, we gotta sue him for 200 and some odd million dollars because it's causing distress. But what about when this dude was alive? Think of all of the black men, all of the men, regardless of race, think of all of the men that's not able to be in their child's life because the only thing that woman think about is child support. We'll turn the child against that man but the minute this man dies, we see it on paternity court. And now they want to try to collect SSI after the dude's dead. And then put on fake tears like they really miss the person, like they really care. Right? So, I mean, like I said, there's people that's upset, upset with Kanye West for what he said. What he said was not a lie. He didn't tell a lie. He told the truth. And now they want to, now it's a money grab, they want to sue the man. Want to pretend like they care so much and how they're so distraught and emotional because he says something about how George Floyd passed away when a lot of people had their opinions and didn't get sued. A lot of people had their opinions. So that's why he died. Uh, Kanye West was correct, man. He died of heart disease and fentanyl in his system. You know, just so happened this cop had his knee on his neck and dude was upset. How many times have people got upset, got emotional, went and shoveled snow? And then the minute they sat down and went to relax, then they either had a stroke or heart attack because of the fact that they were doing something strenuous. See, it happens all the time. See, he was hyped up and emotional was, and, and was resisting and fighting back and the, and the cop was uh, restraining him. And it happened. So, it's tight but it's right. There's people that's not gonna like this because now everybody's so pro George Floyd when the man was alive, he did some horrible things. You know, so feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.